here on today. Yeah. Giving God the glory, giving God the praise. Hallelujah. Wonderful, Jesus. Just want to share with you about five minutes <laughs> what the Lord has given me to inspire you on today. God is good, and I give him all the praise, all the glory, all the honor. He is head of my life. He is first in my life, and I love him on today. Praise the Lord. The topic that the Lord gave me or the words that the Lord gave me is said, Lord, make me fireproof. I just need somebody to say, Lord, make me fireproof. Hallelujah. Lord, make me fireproof. First, let me begin by excuse me. First, let me begin by giving the meaning of the word fireproof. It means the ability to withstand heat or fire. It is a way of being impervious or unable to be affected to its damage or harm. Right here, I just need to say, Lord, make me fireproof. Lord, make me fireproof. Hallelujah. Yes. As we know that fire can cause a lot of damage in the natural and physical realm. If you have ever been in a fire, you know it destroys almost everything in its path. You literally lose everything that you possess. But the good news is you can rebuild again and you can be restored after the devastation of a fire. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now I want to talk about fire in the spiritual realm. Okay. Has anyone in here ever been through any, anything? Yes. I mean some hot situations. Yes. It seems as if it was one thing after another. Yes. In other words, the, heat, the enemy was hot on your trail. The heat had been turned completely up. You could be going about your day-to-day -day Christian life doing everything that you know is right to do because you love God and you love the things of God. And all of a sudden, somebody say all of a sudden, here comes Satan with his little matchbook <laughs> trying to start a fire. He will try to work through people to get you out of the victory. Yes. Somebody say, Lord, make me fireproof. Lord, make me fire. When he sees he can't work there, yes. that he can't get through those doors because he sees that you have decided that you are going to love in spite of. Yes. That you have made up in your mind that it's not about how I, people treat me, but it's how I treat people. Yes. Right there, you are being made fireproof. Anybody ready to be made fireproof? Hallelujah. You passed that test. So the enemy goes away. But look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, he's coming back again. Hallelujah. He goes away because the Bible says, if you resist the devil, he shall flee. Hallelujah. But he's coming back again. Hallelujah. With more plots, more lies, and more schemes. When he comes back this time, I'm just using my little imagination. When he comes back this time, he brings a gasoline jug. Hallelujah. Anybody know what think about that? He turns up the heat, y'all. He brings the gasoline jug when he comes back. He just tries to, he just tries to start a flame on your finances. He'll work on your job. He'll get in your family and even in the church. Somebody say, even in the church. Uh-huh. Even in the church. Somebody said, Lord, make me fireproof. Lord, make me fireproof. When he sees that he can't work there, that the doors are shut because you have decided that I'm going to praise God in spite of my situation, with money or without money. I'm going to praise God for my children because I know that God is going to save them. I'm going to praise God on my job because I know that the world is watching me and I know that my light must shine so that they can come to Christ. And I'm even going to praise God in my church because I realize that I need you, you need me in order to survive. And we are going to get along. Hallelujah. Anybody say, Lord, make me fireproof. Hallelujah. We are going to get along. Be and, and he goes away because he sees that those doors are shut. You're not letting them in. You're being made fireproof. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, but it don't stop there. See, he comes back again. The enemy will never leave you alone. Why? Because you're a child of God. And if he's not messing with you, tell your neighbor, say, you better check yourself. If he's not messing with you, you better check yourself. This time he comes back, and I'm still using my imagination with his blowtorch, mother. Turning up the heat even more, even more. This time now, he wants to try to work on your salvation. Hallelujah. He wants you to stop loving. He wants you to stop praising. 
Stop worshiping. Stop fasting. Stop reading. Stop coming to church. Stop come, Stop dancing. Try to steal your joy, your peace, your hope, your faith, and even your desire to love God in the things of God. Somebody say, Lord, make me fireproof. When he sees that the door is shut, that, that you have decided to follow Jesus no matter what comes, no matter where it goes, that you have decided for Christ I'll live and for Christ I'll die, that no weapon formed against me shall prosper, that it just won't work. Look at your neighbor and say, it just won't work. Hallelujah. That I am fireproof. He can't win. He's already lost the battle. Hallelujah. He is no match for the people of God. Hallelujah. Just a word of advice. If you are going to be consumed by the fire, let it be the fire of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Anybody want to be consumed by the fire of the Holy Spirit? Hallelujah. See, with this fire, our soul catches on fire. Our praise catches on fire. Our dance catches on fire. My worship catches on fire. The church catches on fire. And we all burn with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Anybody ready to burn with the Holy Ghost? Hallelujah. Anybody ready to burn with the Holy Ghost? If I'm going to be consumed, I'm going to be consumed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I'm being made fireproof. Do I have any fireproof saints in the house on today? Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. No weapon, no weapon that's formed against you shall prosper because you're being made fireproof. Hallelujah. In my conclusion, I want to leave you with scriptures. In your hearing, Ephesians 6, 16 and, 16 and 17 says above all, having the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Ephesians 6, verse 11 says, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Anybody leave me here with your whole armor on today? Be strong in the Lord's seat. Stay fireproof. Don't buckle under pressure. Have the heat three through boys kind of faith. Going in the furnace, having it turned up, going in and coming out with God. Knowing that he's there in the furnace and out of the furnace. Hallelujah. Coming out with God and not having any smoke residue anywhere about you. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I might go through the fire, but I'm coming out because God is with me. And I ain't going to have no smoke residue. I ain't going to smell like smoke. I ain't going to look like smoke. Matter of fact, you ain't even going to know that I've been in the fire because I'm going to keep my praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Know that your God is always with you. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, say fireproof. Give God the glory.